Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be talking about a Node.js plugin which is called as Node Webshot. With the help of this library you can just take the screenshot of a website, any website that you can browse here on the internet. So let me just show you how to install this dependency. So this is my Node.js project. So here you just need to execute a simple command which is npm install node-webshot. So this is the name of the library. Uh, sorry this is only webshot so this is webshot and just install this i have already installed this so i will start my server and here you just need to first of all uh, import the library so i will be declaring a webshot variable and requiring this library and it contains a very simple function to take the screenshot so which is webshot inside this you will provide the address of the website that you want to take the screenshot i will pass here google.com and uh, inside this it will take a callback function also but before that you need to give it a name of the png file let's suppose i give it as google.png and the third argument will be a callback function if any kind of error take place you can just uh, console log the error if no error take place then we we can just uh, console log a message on the screen that is uh, screenshot saved and now if i refresh the application you will see that it will create a google.png file in my directory so you can see that screenshot saved and now if i go back to the directory you will see that this is a png file it has created and uh, you can see that this is a pdf fi uh, png file and similarly you can just change the address let's suppose to facebook.com and now it can just generate the facebook.com png file so just wait so you can see that screenshot saved and this is the facebook so now if i open this you will see that this is facebook.com so you can just uh, changes to any website of your choice you can even change this extension to let's suppose jpg now it will create a jpg file let me just check if it creates a jpg file so just wait so now it has created a dot jpg file so you can just play with the extensions let me just check that if can if it is used to generate the pdf file let me just change this extension to pdf so that it can also take the screenshot in pdf format let me just see so you can see that it has created a file name as google.pdf let me just see it in the browser if it is opening this file in pdf format So you can see that guys it has successfully created the screenshot in the pdf format also so you can use it to create any extension .png .jpg or .pdf so this is a very useful library uh, apart from that you can also use a static html also let's suppose i want to pass here uh, my own html custom html let's suppose uh, i pass here uh, head title let's suppose sample page <coughs> and close the title here and close the head and in the body we will be having a simple paragraph let's suppose i write this paragraph as uh, this is a simple paragraph and i close the paragraph tag that's it and now if i just want to take the screenshot let's suppose i have uh, to name the screenshot as a sample.png and if any kind of error take place you can just wrap this inside function and now we can just console log screenshot saved and now if i uh, refresh the browser let me just start my server once again npm start so let me just see if it is create a screenshot of this also screenshot saved so you can see that it has created this file which is uh, let me just see what is 
sample dot png let me just see if it is created that file or not it has not created it let me just see what is the error here so this is the example guys oh sorry guys we need to pass this custom attribute which was site type is equal to html so that is why it was not created that file here i need to just pass this after this so just pass this attribute site type html so this is just telling the uh, web shot library to treat it as a html so now it will create this uh, file which is sample.png so just wait Uh, you can see that sample.png and now if I open this uh, let's suppose you can see that this is a simple paragraph you can always convert to PDF format also by providing changing this extension to PDF and now guys I need to provide one more options here if you want to pass some options such as uh, the width of the image height of the image the short size height and all user agent let's suppose you are wanted to take as a mozilla firefox screenshot or apple web kit you can just provide these options variable here right here at the top let me just delete this and only take the website screenshot and if you want to provide some options here let's suppose these options you can just include these options here by providing as a value here this value that's it so we are attaching this as these options here so now if I refresh it start the server once again path thought let me just see I need to just write this after this options that's it options comma that's it and now if I refresh it it will take the screenshot you will see that screenshot saved and it has saved it as google.pdf so now if I check it this is a screenshot so now you will see that guys it has taken these options into consideration and it has taken the screenshot let me just change this URL to LinkedIn or reddit sorry reddit and also change this name to reddit.pdf and if i refresh it just wait so it has created this reddit.pdf file now it if i ref, uh, open this file reddit.pdf So you can see that guys it has taken the options in, into consideration we have passed these options the width of the screenshot we have passed the height we have also passed so that is why the screenshot is looking something like this so in this manner guys you can just take screenshots of websites using this awesome library called as webshot so thanks very much for watching this video